So you're on the GAPS diet and you want to go out to a restaurant. Whether this is social and it's something that you go out with friends every Saturday to brunch, or it's an occasion, a special occasion and you want to celebrate at a restaurant, or it's just that you're traveling and you're hungry and there's nothing that you can eat and you want to know where you can eat. I'm Kara from Health, Home, and Happiness, and we talk a ton about the GAPS diet. I had my daughter on the GAPS diet very strictly for over two years. Um, you can look at my other videos below. I will link to some more GAPS videos below. But right now we are talking about going out to eat while you are on the GAPS diet. One of the best places that you're going to be able to find food that you can eat while you're on the GAPS diet is a farm to table or a kind of local, sustainably sourced, whole foods, organic restaurant. And in there, you're still going to have to be careful of things to avoid, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But some things that are pretty safe are eggs, like you can have scrambled eggs and butter if you tolerate butter. Um, if you're super sensitive to both butter and gluten, like they cause you huge problems, then you might want to just skip eating out and just enjoy water or herbal tea or something if you're out for social occasions, just because it's not worth it for you to have your whole digestive system messed up for that long just from getting a little bit of a contamination. But if you've been on GAPS or your symptoms aren't super, super severe and you don't find that like a few crumbs of gluten or something impacts your body a ton, then getting eggs that are scrambled in butter and just ask what cooking fat they're using and then ask also to make sure that they're using shell eggs. So you can ask specific specifically, um, where do your eggs come from? And like, sometimes they'll say like, oh, they're all organic, but really in reality, they're getting their eggs um, from a carton. And so you just want to confirm, just remember to apologize, be incredibly friendly, realize they're just doing their job and they probably don't understand food issues like you do. Um, so just confirm that they're cracking the eggs from a shell. And so this is something that, this is really the only thing that I could find locally when I had my daughter on GAPS. It was a long time ago and the food um, the food scene has kind of changed since then, thankfully, and it's easier to find whole foods that don't have additives in them. But I remember going to a lot of restaurants and they would insist like, oh no, lady, our omelets are made with just eggs and meat and vegetables. I don't know what your problem is. But then when I asked them like, oh, so you're, are you cracking your eggs? And uh, well, no, they come from a carton. They're pre-done. And so then I'd ask to see the carton and the carton definitely had like corn byproducts in it. So stuff that you can't eat that's going to... Uh, inhibit your healing on the GAPS diet. You don't want to be eating eggs from a carton. Um, so if you're in doubt, just ask like specifically, like, is it just meat in there? Like if it's preformed patties, ask if you can see the box they came in. And sometimes they'll just rip the corner off the box for you um, that has the ingredients. And a lot of times you'll find GAPS illegal ingredients in there. So anyways, eggs at farm to table restaurants or higher end diners, that kind of thing. Um, that are actually cracked from the shell are a good safe bet. So just like poached eggs or scrambled eggs, if they scramble them in olive oil or butter. And yes, olive oil isn't ideal to cook our eggs in, but again, we're just trying to avoid contamination and trying to avoid undoing all of our work on the GAPS diet, not necessarily picking the most ideal thing. Um, meat, if it's something meat like a steak, that's usually a pretty safe bet. Make sure they don't use a rub on it. A lot of times the rubs have MSG or they have sugar or they have food dye. Um, the rubs are usually not going to be safe for you. Again, so salt and pepper is usually fine. Um, just asking for grilled steak with salt and pepper. And the steakhouse can usually do this. Like even Outback can do something like this. Um, or your higher end steakhouses. Like we have Ted's Montana Grill here. And they have all grass-fed meat, and they do a great job with allergy precautions as well. Um, when I'm going out to eat, I tend to not worry so much about organic, and really my only focus is on, like, first of all, socializing with the people that I'm with, and second of all is not getting something that's going to make me sick. So yes, ideally we want to be eating organic grass-fed beef and organic organic as much as possible for our produce and stuff. But when we're going out, um, really just focus on the stuff that's really going to set you back, like added sugar, added starch, added corn byproducts, and that kind of stuff is going to undo your stuff and it's going to make you sick. And then while we're on that topic, if you do find yourself, like if you did accidentally eat something thinking that like a hamburger patty was just a hamburger, but then you realize, oh no, they had a bunch of fillers in that as well. Or the cheese that you thought was cheddar was actually American cheese, which is definitely not okay on the GAPS diet. Um, so if that happens, go ahead and take a charcoal capsule. It's activated charcoal. You can find them at almost any 
like Rite Aid, Walgreens, Walmart, that kind of thing, any grocery store has activated charcoal now. And if you take that, it'll bind to a lot of the toxins and while you'll still feel gross and you'll feel bad, it's not going to be nearly as bad as if you would just let it pass completely through your digestive system. So if you get glutenated or you you find your child just like chowed down on someone's goldfish crackers or someone handed your kid a sucker or an ice cream before you could intervene, if you can get that charcoal in them. And with my daughter, I used to just like dump a capsule in her mouth if we were out. I kept these little capsules of the charcoal in my car and I'd dump a capsule in her mouth and let her swallow with or follow it with water. Um, the charcoal really, it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste like super awful. It's pretty neutral taste. It's not something that they're going to really usually willingly take, or you can stir it in something. So if your child can have applesauce, then you can stir that charcoal in applesauce and just like make a fun game out of it. Say like, oh, here's your black applesauce because you accidentally ate something. Um, and so that's something you don't want to use it a ton, but it's something that you can do if you or your child accidentally get something, especially when you're out eating that they shouldn't have. Other safe bets for when you're out at restaurants is steamed vegetables. Um, those are usually okay. If they're sauteed, just kind of ask if they have any seasoning or what oil they fry in um, and ask if they can just do it in butter or in olive oil. Those are usually pretty safe bets. Fresh fruit, um, especially if it's not canned. If it's canned, you have to watch for corn syrup. I know there's canned fruit in juice that you can have on GAPS. And you can buy that at a grocery store, but a lot of times the big cans that they get in restaurants have the corn syrup in them. Um, so just again, confirm confirm if you can see the packaging. If it's something that comes from a package, if it's pre-canned, even if they say it's canned in juice, it, like, it might say big on the front of the can that's canned in juice. And then if you look down in the ingredients, there's like half fruit juice and half corn syrup. So just something to watch out for. Fresh juice, like fresh pressed orange juice, that's something you can get. Black Bear Diner is... A chain restaurant and they have fresh pressed orange juice um, and it's just orange like as long as they haven't changed it since we were on gaps I did ask extensively we had that and that was something that my daughter really enjoyed we could go out and get a cup of orange juice and I think they had fresh fruit there as well we liked that salad bars you can choose just the vegetables choose just the um, just the produce and a lot of times they'll have fresh fruit as well sometimes they have cottage cheese which is cottage cheese, which is something that once you're advanced on gaps and your gut has healed a little bit, you might be able to handle cottage cheese. There usually isn't added sugar in there. So salad bars are something that's a great thing for you. You'll still want to avoid your dressings. And if you can bring dressings along with you in little containers, like if you can even pack them in your luggage or bring them in small enough containers that TSA is going to be okay if you're traveling. Um, bringing dressings and condiments is something that can help you eat out a lot. It'll add a lot of those nourishing fats that you need to um, feel full. And a lot of times the dressings, well, almost all of the times, the dressings and the sauces and even the soups when you go out to eat have additives in them that you can't have on the GAPS diet. So bringing dressing can really make you feel like you're having a complete meal. Um, you just have their steak or their eggs and their steamed vegetables and then you just add your own dressings. If you're in a pinch, you can go to a grocery store and buy Primal mayonnaise. It's in a lot of um, a lot of health food stores now, and it's just avocado oil mayonnaise, and that should be okay on the GAPS diet. Mustard while you're out to eat is usually safe. Um, again, you'll want to check the container, but most like French's yellow mustard is just like mustard, vinegar, and salt. And that is totally fine for you to have on the GAPS diet. So that's a safe condiment. Uh, grocery stores, grocery stores carry, obviously, the produce, the um, just plain. A lot of times you can get plain rotisserie chicken, which, again, not organic, but better than not eating. And so that's another thing that you can use while you're on the GAPS diet. If you're out, like if you're on vacation or you're traveling for business, um, hitting a grocery store is going to give you better options than most restaurants, especially if all you have access to is fast food restaurants. Um, avoiding fast food, they always use carton eggs. I don't know of any chain restaurants that use eggs that are cracked from a shell. I really, I don't think there's anything in any fast food restaurant other than In-N-Out, which we'll talk about in a second that you can eat on the GAPS diet. So for chain restaurants, um, 
for stuff that you just need to drive through or you need to be quick or it's something that you're looking for something while you're traveling and you don't have a ton of time to research or a ton of time to go to a farm to table restaurant or find a grocery store. Um, we tend to pick hotels while we're traveling that are near either Chipotle or in and out um, and then Chipotle you can get the meat. It's not cooked in the ideal fat but there's really it's really more protein than anything else. Their meat, their salsa, choose the salsa that doesn't have a corn, the corn in it. One of their salsas does have corn, which you can't have corn on the GAPS diet. Too starchy and it'll feed that pathogenic bacteria. Um, sour cream is out unless you're pretty advanced and you've already introduced heavy cream, but you can have, the beans are kind of hit and miss. Some people are super sensitive. My daughter was able to tolerate beans before she was able, able to tolerate a lot of different things. So if you want to do the beans, then that might be okay. Ask to see the ingredient list to make sure they're not adding anything weird. But when I when we were doing it before, just the meat and the beans and then the lettuce and then the salsa, the, the fresh salsa that doesn't have the corn in it, those were all good bets. And then guacamole at that time, guacamole was okay as well. And again, you can ask to see the ingredients. Chipotle is pretty good about that. So that was a really good thing for us, especially with the guacamole because that is a sauce, um, that was a really nice thing to be able to go out to eat. We'd actually, all three of us, split a burrito bowl, um, super cheap, and it was GAPS friendly, and that was nice. Sometimes if you ask, well, you definitely have to ask for no rice on your burrito bowl, and if you ask for no rice, sometimes they'll give you extra meat, which is definitely a bonus, or you can pay more for extra meat as well. Um, and then the uh, only other chain restaurant that I found had like a meal that we could eat was in and out um, and they're on the west coast I believe and protein style no sauce their fries I'm pretty sure are fried in cottonseed oil which is just gross and you're not supposed to have potatoes until you're either really advanced and coming off of gaps or you're not on gaps anymore um, I know a lot of parents and myself included will let their kids have french fries when they're out just because they're they are usually gluten-free and they're less upsetting to kids than like a baked good with gluten would be. But it's definitely not allowed on GAPS. And if it's something that's regular in your diet, it is going to impede their process. Um, but anyways, back to the protein style in and out burger. It's not, it's like on their secret menu, which I thought was super cool when I was a kid. Um, <laughs> but protein style is just a hamburger wrapped in lettuce you can have the lettuce you can have the onions you can have the tomatoes absolutely no sauce i believe you can put their mustard on it i think their mustard is okay again you'll want to check for allergy information and a lot of restaurants now will give out the ingredients um and i believe that in and out is the only fast food place that i know of that has all beef patties that aren't they don't have fillers in them or preservatives so it's not good beef, it's not grass-fed, it's from the gross factory farms. But again, while you're out, or if you need your child to like feel a little bit more normalized because all their friends are going out to fast food and they feel left out, in and out is a good compromise. Um, and as a last resort, that's not a bad thing. So that's how we do eating out on the GAPS diet, and I hope that was helpful. Thanks for joining me, and we'll be back soon.